Hi guys, this is me Ninja One 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 here. Today I'm here with part 16 of my 2014 Christmas holiday special opening. And today we're going to be opening up first of the two Battle Pack 2 boxes. You know, like I said in previous parts, I got this for $25 on Core TCG. Now I decided to open this one first because it's kind of damaged up here. So, yeah. I always do like battle pack boxes and 36 pack boxes. Always awesome. And here, the box itself. I like the design of the Alpac 2. Definitely looks good. And yeah, we have an extra pack here. I don't know what uh, side it was originally on. I guess that was on the right side. So, yeah, the box is right here. Putting the X in, we'll get started. So, first pack. How about this pack start off? Hopefully we can pull guide cards out of here. But who knows? Oh, Forbidden Chalice and Card Card Deef. Right off the bat. Definitely good cards to get. But yeah. If we get good cards too, won't be too disappointed. In the second pack we have, oh, for Brandon Lance. Definitely getting some good pulls out of here. So far. Rope of Life and Shard of Greed. I think I might just... So I have some battery on my camera now, so hopefully I get enough battery to film both of these boxes and then, yep, go from there. Book of Moon, Alexandrite Dragon, and Full Force Strike. So definitely getting some good cards out of here. So I can't complain about that. Next pack. Oh, nice. Obelisk the Tormentor and Megalodon. Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon. So, nice. We pulled one God card so far, and that was out of a uh, raw pack. So, that one God card so far. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Next pack. So one out of one down, two more to go. Have Violent Prism and Mosaic Manticore. Mask Weakness and Beast King Barbarous. Uh, Draining Shield and Ancient Gear Golem.
hedge card and injection fairy lily. I don't know why they made hedge card a, an ultra rare legendary collection five. There are some cards that I believe that they that should have been reprinted in that pack, but they weren't reprinted, and there are just some that just not deserved such high rarity. Some Rain Roy and Card Trader. As of all Konami sets, there's always hit and miss, hits, hit and misses. There are always good reprints, and then there are always bad reprints. So that's Cyberjar and both on Wyvern and Zephyros. Cyberjar is a pretty cool card. Though it's banded, I like its effect. I used that card in one of my tr troll decks in WDC 2008 that I've been playing recently. It's a pretty fun card. I like the effect. You have both on Sanctuary and Blast. And Spike Shield of Chain. And if I get the chance in the future, I want to buy more boost boxes and open them for you guys. So we have Treeborn Frog and Cyber Valley. It's nice. Zodiest Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Definitely do like that card. Threat threatening Roar. Gene Warp Werewolf and Krebons. Not bad. Then next pack. Damage gain and ultimate tyranno. <laughs> Sinister Serpent. It's pretty nice. Haven't seen that card in a while. That was originally one of the many promo cards for the one in the video games. Have Botanical Lion and Premature Burial. Ooh, that's cool. We have, oh wow, two malevolent nuzzlers right next to each other. And Beast King Barbaros, who are in Dragon Ice. We have, oh nice, Slifer the Sky Dragon and Phantom Dragon. Ooh, two dragons in one pack. One of, the, one of them being the Egyptian god card is definitely awesome. So, uh, I think I said some commons there by mistake. And, uh, yeah, some of my cards are kind of mixing together. So, So, yeah. If I can uh, get both of these videos within 20 minutes, I think it will be good. Uh, Magical Arm Shield and Frost Source. Tardy Orc. No, it's not the best of cards, but it's, I still like it. It's pretty cool. Originally, I pulled one of the Secret Rare ones out of Black Overlord and thought that was pretty awesome. Malicious Edge and Megalodon, Long Tree Worm Frog. I don't know if I separated the one that I got earlier, but still a cool card. I think I sold my original D. I sold the one the DR4 ones for about a bit over ten dollars on eBay a few years ago. So that was pretty cool for me. Heaven Soldier and Guardian Angel Jonah. 
two Gemini Elf Luck. I think I said in one of my last videos. That card's been in every battle pack along with Slate Warrior. They're both cool cards. I use them in a lot of my decks. Both of them. And I'm playing video games. And we control Reckless Greed and Direct Titano. Battle Fader. Yeah, I didn't really bother to separate the cards from the kits because I didn't really see the reason to. Next pack. Dragon Knights and Full Force Strike. Shiru and Beast and Barbarous. I remember when Windstorm of Otakwa was one of the secret rares from the Power Chaos games and whew, sun's coming out right now so definitely makes the video a bit more bright I guess. Full Force Strike and Spike Shield of Chain. One thing better with this set is that not, not every rare is an effect monster but that's Definitely one thing better than the Alpac 3. Then we have Swords of Concealing Light. You guys can kind of see that. And Premature Burial uh, effect. Zayak Rare effect. Tanny Line. I notice throughout these Battle Pack videos, I always just sometimes uh, call the, the foil wrong. I think Battle Pack 3, I, a few times I called it. Zayek, sometimes I call it Starfoil. It's very confusing to think about it. Mm. Pot of Greed. Nice. Call the Haunted and Card Trooper. That was a pretty good pack. Let's see. We have Card Guard and White Knight Dragon. Let's do the Soul Leader. I've seen seen that card a few times. That card's pretty cool. Spike Shield Chain, Starfoil, and Graceful Charity. Never know when that card comes back. I like that card. Next pack. Union attack, half for nothing, called the haunted. No, 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 I'm, I think maybe in the future I might get some of the star pack boxes. They're not really worth a lot. They're, they're kind of cheap and there's not really anything good inside them, but it's a booster box to open, so it's always cool. Cool to open boxes. Blockman of and Marquise of Darkness. Mausoleum of the Emperor. I like when people use that card because in my opinion it's it's one thousand points. They have one thousand points or two thousand points less. Uh X Dragon Knight and Trucroid. Makes it easier to beat opponents. Even though it makes it easier for them for both players to summon monsters. Easier to defeat opponents as they lose life points. Let's see. Union attack and brain crusher. I might have to charge my battery for a bit after this video before I continue with the next part. It's not a big deal. Axe of Despair, Beast King Barbaros, Bullblader. Down to our final few packs.
Shard of Greed and Helping Robo for Combat. I believe that was in the first battle pack. In the last two packs. Reasoning Dark Lord Zerato and Doom Caliber Knight. Got one the Starfoil in Battle Pack One in my Battle Pack One box, which I was happy. With. It's either that or but I don't know. I got Starfoil, which made me pretty happy. <laughs> Always like that card. Last pack. Garga Garner and DD Warrior Lady. Oh. Quakes for the zombie at the very end. Finish us off. And very let me go with the le the noteworthy commons. These two I thought were pretty cool. So that was nice. And the over hairs. Rares we got. Shard of Greed is pretty cool. Call of the Haunted. Another Call of the Haunted. So yeah, these are just cards that I think are good. Maybe not good to other people, but Cyber Valley is pretty decent. Some cards that I thought were not really. And at the first pack, we card card D. Probably the best rare we pulled. And after seeing it used in anime, I think I know why it's so good. So, and then we have the mosaic rares. Kind of see the effect, which is cool. Let's see. Mm. Definitely Slifer. Can't leave that out. Treeborn is kind of decent. Cyber Jar. Obelisk. Tormentor and Forbidden. Tormentor and Forbidden Chalice. Really? Yeah, we got these mosaic rare cards. And yeah, this was my first foul pack to opening, box opening. This was part 18 of my, or not 18, this is part, <sighs> sorry, forgetting. This is part 15 of my 2014 Christmas special opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for the next part where I'm going to be opening up my second bell pack two box. And in the meantime, off to, oh, I'm going to be off to charging my camera and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later and bye.